Today I visit the Grave Nurse Crew and get to visit six of the seven stations. The only one I don't get to is Eugenia Falls. The first station I visit is South Falls on the Muskoka River. Here you can see the 12 foot diameter penstock that splits off into three at the station and feeds the three units. And just upstream is Hannah Chute. And in the heart of cottage country, these stations are literally right in the backyard. And next we have Trithui Falls, a sister unit to Hannah and in the middle of an overhaul. And I get a chance to go right inside. Uh, we're gonna go down into this crawl case here and uh, we'll show you how we do our parts removal because it's not a normal unit with a head cover. Yep. And we'll show you our progress on concrete repairs. After a safety briefing and signing on the permit, I head on down. So explain how the, how the unit works. So the, the, so we got yeah, so there's the, the head gate, right? So the water comes. We're standing where the water is. We're in the scroll case, and then the runner would normally sit on top of. Right, right in this. One. Sits, sits right in this. Yeah, that's the throw ring. That's the throw ring. Okay, and then there's a shaft up through the floor there. Yeah, and we saw the generator on the other side. Sits on top of the wicked gate. Pins, so, so the wicked gate, okay. Yeah. Okay. Then, That's uh, unique. So the whole thing's submerged. Yeah. There's been a few things like learning pile design that little part there for taking the wicked gate down. But the, the gates are about 200 pounds. Yeah, how did you do it before that part? We don't know how they did it. We never <laughs> removed the gates. <laughs> You just carried the 200 pound wicked gate yourself? So when we had the unit, uh, when you took the unit apart, what, what condition was it in? Full of barnacles. Here Kyle explains the concrete work that needed to be done. Jackhammer around the mounting plate to get it in the concrete for a, a better material around it so it's sealed down because the water will start to migrate between the two. So I head back out, but the hard part was getting disconnected from the fall arrest. Is there a trick to this? Next we're off to Ragged Rapids. Keeping an eye on things. The units here are equipped with Kaplan turbines, which allow for the pitch of the blade to be adjusted to achieve efficiency over a wide range of flow and water levels. Okay, so we got two oil lines, one pitches to the Kaplan, one pitches the other way. And that control rod, it's feedback to the, the valve down there. That, that slide bar there has, has the uh, Kaplan profile on it. So of course, when the wicket gates move, that slide moves and the corresponding pitch for the wicket gate changes. So that, that's the arm to shift rings. Next we visit Big Eddy, which is a sister unit to Ragged Rapids, except it doesn't have a Kaplan turbine. Its runner blades are fixed. The last station I visit is Big Chute, which has the distinction of being the first station acquired by the Hydroelectric Power Commission of Ontario in 1914. So I'm standing beside the new Big Chute, looking at the old Big Chute. And here's the penstock, the old penstock, and into the old unit. The new station has a single horizontal unit where the water travels through the turbine in the shape of an S. Right next to the station, they have what's called a marine railway. So instead of a lock, they have a rail and cable system that will transport boats from one side to the other. Given the proximity of this to the station, the tail race is directed further downstream through a submerged tunnel to keep it all safe. Thanks to Malcolm and the whole crew for a fantastic day.